All right, guys, as you can see, we finished the fireplace today. The tile went on very nicely. It looks very clean and modern. Uh, the TV was also put on today. And man, this was a really, really good project. It was a DIY fireplace that we got completed. This might be a multi-day project, but we're gonna start very simple today. We're gonna start with uh, four pieces of wood right here, and we're gonna put it against the wall for support when we build this framing. And before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys what I have, all the tools. So we got some, um, these are about eight feet long, these boards. Okay, I'm gonna be building it eight feet uh, by nine. This is the size of the wall. Um, tools I got, I got measuring tape, tools that I got. I got a uh, pocket hole uh, jig. I got some screws for it. Basically two and a half is all you need if you're gonna use this guy here. If you don't wanna use that, you can use this, which are three and a half screws. Um, I got some clamps, mallet. Uh, this guy's gonna be very helpful for me. Um, also got a very big leveler, uh, stud finder some tape to help me mark some stuff, and another leveler uh, because this would really, really come in handy. All right, so the first step is gonna be putting the pieces of wood uh, on the wall to support wood. And first I gotta measure the middle. So let's get to it and screw it in. So I've completed doing the backboards on the wall. This is where it's gonna support most of the framing. And I just also completed um, making these sideboards. So basically it's the side of the framing. Uh, I cut little joints inside to fit. And uh, right now I did about uh, nine inches. We're gonna get about 12 inches wide for our pop-out wall that we're creating. And so this is what it looks like so far, okay? So I did about 24 inches per gap. Um, I just made sure that the ones in the front and the ones at the end are 24 inches. And the ones in the middle, I just kind of estimated because it's not gonna be perfect. So we gotta do two of them. And let's put these suckers on the wall. So I just completed the front side of the framing and this is what I did. Um, right here on the bottom, I created some support because this big gap right there, that's where we're gonna put the 80 inch fireplace. So I dry fit it, I put it inside and it fits perfectly. And then up here, these are the long studs that the, uh, the TV mount's gonna go into. So you see here, and then I dry fitted the TV mount. So, you know, it's gonna fit through that hole, this hole, this hole, and this hole right there. And I think we are ready to put this guy up on the wall. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this guy up and put it into the framing and attach it. After that, we can put in the, uh, 
It's not drywall, but it's something like drywall for tiles. So right now we are about halfway done with this thing. Um, the hard work is yet to begin, which is gonna be the tiling. So before that, let's put this guy up. I put the framing up behind me and then I realized because we're gonna do some tiling that I need to add more wood so the drywall can go up. So don't mind the Mickey Mouse job that I did. I'm not a true contractor, but this will hold up the drywall. So I added extra wood around um, pretty much here. Uh, and then I added woods here and here as well where the drywall is going to be. And then I ran out of wood, so I had to really figure out what to do with the last ones. So these are pretty much the spots where all the dry wood, um, those are pretty much all the spots where the cement boards are going to go. So it's not really drywall, they're cement boards. Uh, they protect the mold, anything like that, what you use for, you know, tiling showers, bathrooms. So now it's time to get the drywall up. All right, so I just started putting up the cement board. We covered the majority of the wall so far. Um, I did use some specific screws for them. Uh, I did them about six to eight inches apart. So they're pretty stable, pretty good. So now what I actually wanna do is I wanna fit the fireplace into the insert and see how it looks. Uh, turn it on, make sure that it's working properly. And then after that, we'll finish the rest of the cement boards. So let's try and get this guy in there. Well, that didn't work. Uh, there was a cord on the side of the fireplace. I don't know why it's on the side and not on the back. So I have to remove the wood and uh, I'm gonna try it one more time and we'll put that wood back. We got ourselves a working fireplace. I was super scared that after all of this, um, it, it wasn't gonna work, but it works perfectly fine and it looks beautiful. So now what we're gonna do is finish up the cement boards and then we can tile. All right, so as you can see, I got all of the cement boards done. Um, it looks pretty good. I've never done that before, it was my first time. And uh, so I decided to actually hire a tile guy to put the tile up just because I did so much Mickey Mousing around the fireplace that I want him to make it straight. So. All right guys, as you can see, we finished the fireplace today. The tile went on very nicely. It looks very clean and modern. Uh, the TV was also put on today. And man, this was a really, really good project. It was a DIY fireplace that we got completed. Um, and I can say that I am very proud of the work that's been done here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys don't know what this tile is, it's actually a porcelain tile. Um, it was actually very cheap to buy, about $2.60 per square foot. Uh, so it was a total of like 300 bucks to make that. Um, the fireplace was about $2,000. It's an 80-inch fireplace 
uh, with smart features. And so we got all this done for about um, $3,000, including the fireplace. Um, other people, the builders of the home, they wanted to charge $10,000. So I'm very happy that we got it done for only 30% of the price. So if you guys like this video, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, comment, do all that. So until next time, guys, peace out. Say thank you. Thank you. Say I love you. I love you. So shy.